Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to From the Depths with me, Lathrix. And, of course, welcome back to the campaign at long last, in which we are just now putting down our defense turret, the Steel Curtain, as now finally everything has indeed been named. So, in today's episode, I have two potential goals. The first of which is a little bit out of the blue, which is... Let's declare war on the Onyx Watch. I don't know why I want to do this, but I just really, really do. Well, actually, I do know why I want to do this. I want to test out the Pharaoh tanks, or the Pharaoh tanks, versus the Onyx Watch, because that's kind of what they're built for. And after testing them out versus the Rhino in the previous video during our naming special... I just think we could crush the Onyx Watch with the tanks we have currently. We're sort of hard countering them, and I feel like a quick attack versus the Onyx Watch to maybe claim one of their resource zones would put us in a prime position to simply take over the world. Our second goal, which is a more reasonable goal, is to just destroy the Dustwind Gypsies at long last. We are in a position here where we can start making some more of our Gatling gun tanks, and we could just push down here very quickly and annihilate annihilate the rest of the enemy forces. So, I'm very tempted by that as well. But first, we need to make sure this is fully built and therefore we are fully protected versus the Lightning Hoods. That way, we are in a position where we are honestly pretty safe right now. Even if these turrets do go down and the enemy reclaims their resource zones, that's only our outer layer of defense. And we have a lot of resources right now to very quickly spring back. This is definitely the first episode where I'm beginning to think we are in a really good position. Also, the Gatling gun tank is called the Scorpion AI tank. I am going to struggle to remember these new names, but I will try my hardest. Also, you may notice a lot in this episode that the forces, when looking like this, are still named by their old names. I will get around to swapping them manually, but they don't automatically swap, even though I have overridden them in the save files. It's just how it is. Any new vehicles will have the new correct name. For now though, what I think I'm going to do, since I have all of my forces here already, is I'm going to take out a single tile of the Lightning Hoods. That may seem a bit weird since we are kind of already quite protected, but by doing this, when the enemy send an attack, and remember, they are on times two speed when it comes to reinforcing and sending forces, they will have to stop and then reinforce this tile. This is why it seems like we haven't been attacked for a while, because every time they send an attack, it's actually reinforcing the tiles we attacked earlier before it was reinforcing this and over here these numbers in the corner you can't quite see have also been changed so some of these have gone back to being controlled by the dustwind gypsies for instance so attacking tiles is actually a great way to defend ourselves and it means whilst i'm over here attacking the dustwind gypsies the lightning hoods won't randomly attack our turret although the turret should be able to fend off a medium attack all by itself it really won't stand against a bad matchup. There is a very real chance it will simply get destroyed if the enemy have decent particle cannons, which they do, or if they just get a few lucky laser hits on the weapon itself. I just almost really messed up on something, so I completely forgot our laser vehicles, the disassemblers, are running off steam power, which means they always need material. Well, we had drained all the material here building the turret, and I was about to send the lasers into battle with no engines, which basically means they would have fell from the sky and then just sat there the entire battle and probably just been killed instantly. So it's a good job I remembered, so now once again the lasers have their weapons. I've also transferred some fuel because some of the tanks were also running a little bit low on that as well. They're still a little bit low because our lovely Dauntless here isn't particularly good with holding fuel, but it will be enough for at least one more battle. Dismantler. The lasers are called the dismantlers, not the disassemblers. Dismantler is the laser. Let's repeat that together. Dismantler is the laser. One last note before we get into our first battle is this. With the tanks and with our forces, we are now finally getting to a point where our volume, our amount of blocks we are spawning in, is starting to eclipse the enemy. When that happens, that will trigger one of our other honor rules, in which 
I don't want to do that. If you have too much volume, if you have too much in the way of force count in comparison to the enemy, you can win even with terrible designs. Even our drones would beat elite enemies if we had enough of them. And... That's just not fun. So I am kind of imposing a bit of a soft cap on myself in which if I do go above maybe 10% over their volume, I simply can't allow that and I will remove one of my forces from play. Just to keep things interesting. At the end of the day, this game is about a series of battles. It's not the most tactically in-depth, but it is all about your designs. It's about being creative with those designs and seeing how well they do battles and improving on that. If you just overwhelm the enemy with numbers, that removes all of those factors from the game, which gets very boring. On my way. Oh, hello! We're up against the enemy skyscraper again. Well, that's pretty cool. Last time it didn't have a particularly good showing, so hopefully this time it might be a little bit better. Also, no, I don't want you in the battle satellite. Go on, you can go back to where you were. There you go. Well, that's ominous. The weather's just turned into this as we approach the enemy. Kinda creepy. And the battle commences. Also, a really weird sight. So what's happened here is that the laser has just swapped targets. And remember, it shoots four times per second, or is it eight times per second with the four Q switches? Either way, a lot of times per second, and because of that, it looks like it's shooting two targets at once. They've both done it! Why is that? I have no idea why they've swapped targets. I'm hoping one of the tanks goes after the satellite because that would just look awesome. So many enemies, but they are also very clumped up. A lot of friendly fire is probably going to happen here. Lasers doing their job. Yep, there goes the back of the engine and that small flyer is dead. Although apparently so am I. Excellent. A life for a life. Oh, two of the simple laser vehicles have got in melee range there, I just saw, which is really actually quite bad. Let's have a look, see. Okay, one enemy has flipped, which is great. You just took a Hesh shell, and that's a lot of Hesh everywhere. You're trying, and that's the important part. Both of the flyers have been taken out by the lasers. The lasers doing their job wonderfully. Simple lasers are melting, ooh, actually are definitely melting through the armor. Hopefully someone focuses on the wisp here very soon. Oh, is that Heschel going towards the satellite? The satellite? The skyscraper, the skyscraper, yes it is, I can't talk. Boom! Oh, that's a shame, too many layers of metal, it all kind of got stuck. Oh, no, no, it did break through. And that's how Hesh works. Hit here, broke this beam, and now if there's anything fragile in here, it would be taking those to the face. The Wisps, they're focusing on one of the Scorpions. The Scorpion... Oh, no, 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 not the laser, not the... Oh! I'm so glad you swapped just as your attack ended there. A few bits of metal there being destroyed. Okay, in range to heal each other. However, well done, guys. Excellent piloting. Hesh being defected by shields, not the best. One laser going after... Okay, both lasers going after that in the distance. Lovely Hesh hit there. Can we get another? Thank you very much. Love toasting of the tanks. Just a quick check of what's actually been going on. You're targeting the small flyer, which is fine. You're not really under attack. You just got hit by a few missiles, which did very, very little. The Hesh is going towards you. And by the looks of things, you've been doing a great bit of work there. You can seal the armor that's flaked off. You're targeting the guy over there, even though he's already downed. So not the best target, gotta be honest. You're flipped, and you two are giving each other a nice hug. Oh, for the love of... Okay, stop, 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 stop. Which one are you? Which one are you, AP Tank? I need you off now. Ooh, one of you has lost part of your AI. That's not pleasant. Okay. 
Is it either of you? Okay, is it you? Is it you? Okay, you're turned off for now. Stop hurting the hash tank. Oh, hash tank, don't do what I think you're about to do. Thank you. Lovely hash shot there on the underside. Trying his darndest, but not quite. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of simple lasers, gotta be honest. People do seem to think they're better than, than, than I feel they are. Also, it's definitely my fault for putting those tanks too close to each other before the fight. Lasers on the enemy side doing not all that much. Oh, dear. One of the... Oh. Um, that broke your barrel a lot more than mine. <laughs> well done. You killed the wisp. <laughs> This battle's taking forever! Oh, 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 looks like the engine may have been taken out there. No, it hasn't, just writing itself. No one's focusing on this guy anymore. Just gonna ignore the fact he's hurting our friend, sure. The Hesh definitely doing its job. Even against enemies which have fallen over. Have we lost both of the dismantlers? Uh, where's the other one then? I see no friendly laser fire. Oh, it's just been really badly damaged. Yeah, there's something wrong there. Okay. Not the most decisive victory in the world, but a victory nonetheless. Okay, off. Time to capture. Yeah, definitely time to capture. None of the enemies are even close to fighting back at this point. Where is the laser vehicle I'm after? Um, we got a little bit of resource from this. Not as much as I thought. The stats haven't defaulted, have they? No, no, it's still on 0.06. Wasn't the rule that every enemy we face, I can increase that by 0 0.02 in terms of the resource we're getting? I think that's the rule we decided on. I can't remember. I'll, I'll, I'll have a quick look-see at the last few videos. I think I know the video I said it in. Let's go after the downed enemy first, and then we'll let one of the Hesh tanks take a shot at this, and then that way I don't have to spend all that time slowly knocking out the thrusters. Oh, there we go. Now we've got the resources. And by the way, the reason why the resources are going down so quickly isn't because of the steam boilers, it's because of the very slow repair work we're doing. Since it can heal 1% per, like, 5 seconds on some of the vehicles, or 10 seconds, I think, each beam of metal is... Actually, how much is a beam of metal? I don't know. Anyway, sorry, being distracted, being really distracted, my mind is in a weird place today. Are you the little rail guy? Yeah, you are. I see these flip way more than I expect. Aha, that looks like a piece of AI, but is it attached to the main main frame? Is that the- okay, yeah it is, so if I just dig through that then, I should be able to get there. Huzzah for max rank stormtrooper. Um, I think I'm doing this right. It's hard to tell. Let's just check. Yeah, I've damaged a lot of them. Okay. There we are. Is this mine now? Yes, it is. Okay, you just stay there, fella. I'm going to go and capture this guy. Poor little dismantler. Oh, he's flipped by himself and he's now hurting himself. Um, can you stop? Look, look. Serving me is not as bad as the pain you are inflicting upon yourself, okay? You may as well be on my side and inflict pain against your former allies. Come on, serve me. No, 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 no. Ha! Now I'm attached. Where's your AI, I wonder? If I were an AI, I'd probably be around all those surge protectors, I'd imagine. Yep, yeah, right there. Is there any exposed part, or am I going to have to go through the heavy armor? I'm going to have to go through the heavy armor, aren't I? Yes, I am. Wonderful. Okay, back in like half an hour. 
So I've been thinking a little bit about repair bots just whilst we allow our tanks to reload and apparently the storms come in. And the fact is that the enemy cannot use repair bots which gives us a distinct advantage if we are using them. Now at the moment, after checking, all of our tanks currently only have four repair bots which honestly is very little. They also can only hold 500 resources each, which means they can't even repair for too much. But even that, I have seen it in the previous clip, in the previous battle. A whole chunk got repaired after being damaged, which then another enemy attacked maybe 30 seconds later. And if that chunk wasn't repaired, well, that would have been much, much worse for the tank. I still think the tank would have survived. I don't think it really leaned the battle one way. But I am considering massively lowering the amount of repair bots on our vehicle, maybe limiting it to only one. The reason is, I need at least one repair bot so I can heal outside of combat, otherwise it just gets really annoying, and repair tentacles can be even more overpowered if they're too close to each other, although at least it does demand that more than one vehicle is nearby. I mean, that's the thing, but still... I think that's what we're going to go with. After today, I'm going to retrofit so all of our vehicles can only use one repair bot. I mean, I'm only using four. I've always limited it as much as possible, but I don't know. Maybe I just think about balance too much. No more talking about balance for the rest of the video. Let's just shoot some things. Okay, no satellite this time. Whoa. 387,000 worth of resources heading towards us. Does that mean eternal light? Looks at a Okay, I can't even pronounce it, but that does mean eternal light, doesn't it? Or something similar. I'll look after the battle. Okay, all the usual stuff, and then that. Um, okay, let's hope the hash tanks do their work as usual. Yes, I only want the Hesh tank in this battle. That is exactly what I want. Let's put our lovely Pharaoh tank right there, right at the front. Actually, it's not a terrible idea, just so if I can get some early shots off at the enemy. The enemy already going to be using lasers, which hit almost automatically anyway, so being so close wouldn't be too bad. Whoops. Well then... Here we go. Come on, swap over, thank you. Whoa! Parcel cannon shots everywhere except for what they were aiming at, thankfully. This one just ignoring the whole physics of ground. Um... Hello. Oh, I remember you! Yeah, you did the same last time. You tried to spawn in one of your minions and instantly crashed it into the floor. I, I do remember that. Incoming Hesh. Shield defended several times. Well, actually, this is a far scarier force than one last time. Oh, eternal explosion there against one of our tanks. Straight away, two of them. Okay, one of our tanks is definitely dying here. Our lasers going against their airborne. Okay, one of their flyers just went down in the background. Okay, a decent Hesh hit, finally. Straight away, though, losing that tank is not exactly the most... Oi. Oi. I was going to say something else, but I was being distracted. Okay, isn't exactly the most promising thing. Okay, one more of the enemies have gone down. We have killed three or four already, but that large enemy is still just prowling around, just melting the tanks. Holy crud. Okay, guys, focus on the big guy now, okay? That is by far the scariest thing here. All of you, Eve, there we go, yeah, even the scorpions, which don't normally go after the larger targets, just focus on it, please. Another tank is being, yep, that tank there, for instance, is being utterly obliterated, it's already no longer targeting. Oh, that is bad, two tanks are down out of our four, one more is being damaged.
Oh, it's focusing on a hash tank now. Come on, Pharaohs. Yes, one would hit there at the back. A little bit of a chain reaction going off. I don't know what's happening there on the inside, but it was very, very good. Hopefully that was one of the engines. The more engines you take out, the weaker the... Sh oh, lasers are going to be. Yes, lovely, again with the hash. The shields are being an absolute nightmare. We need some more anti-shield weapons. I mean, I'm actually tempted to mix in some of the EMP shells, which target shields. Uh, the disruptors? Yes, hash shell again with the internal explosions. Ow, my face. One laser down. It doesn't take much to make these unstable. Lasers are very frail. They are essentially glass cannons at the end of the day. Okay. Yep, armor's melting off both sides. Two tanks have been completely disabled. You are not far off. But, by the looks of things, there was a really good hit just a second ago. Come on, Hesh. Just get a good shot off. Take out the engine or take out that main weapon and we have won this. Yes, I directed it on the weapon and it did do some damage. The barrel got knocked, but just partially off. Both of the lasers are now focusing on this guy, although sadly he does have smoke, which... Yes! Yes! Thank you, Hesh! Hesh! Go, Hesh! We love you! <laughs> We're not losing this day, lads! Please! You've been doing so well! That's it, keep on shooting that Hesh up its backside. Oh, even if we lose, though, we have put this in such a bad position. The, ma the amount of damage, it kind of now looks like a duck. Gotta be honest, that's what I'm seeing anyway. Let's have a quick recap about what's going on over here. Um, missiles are still being f just flung everywhere, thankfully mostly out of range, weirdly. Oh, one of the hash tanks, you are off, aren't you? Yeah, one of the hash tanks has been damaged to a point where it's no longer firing. We have only one hash tank left, are you kidding me? One hash tank and... Oh, the lasers are being focused on. I think we've lost this. Even if we do take out the big guy now, I feel like it'll be a bit of a hollow victory. But still, yeah, take out uh, anyway, because that really damages this tile. It's We've still won in terms of resource lost. Remember, this guy on his own is 300,000. If you can take this guy down, that's way more than our force cost. Thank you for not focusing on the Hesh and focusing on the little guy. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Please hit his weapon now. Weapons or engines? Oh, I hate those shields. Oh, I wish I had some of the... I just... Honestly, I don't know what I want to hear. Maybe the copters, I guess? Please don't say you've lost some of your ammo storage, because you're definitely in the reload phase right now. He's far enough away, and I feel like enough of his engines have- oh yeah, definitely have been damaged, that he's not putting out full potential anymore. That and the fact, you know, he's lost a weapon. These tanks do not go down without a fight, do they? Come on. Damn it. This is such a long fight. Thank you. Yes. Oh, come on. Yeah, the, the damage output has been so crippled. At the start, this was just chewing up enemies. Now it's burning them slowly. Okay, one hit here, right there. Of course, you'd have to get through the shield, but still. At least with the inertial fuse, we are knocking off a little bits of metal each time. It's not much, it's something. Oh no. No, 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 no. That explosion was way too close to the IR. It's dead. We lost. The Eternal Light wins. Oh, but not before hurting itself a little bit more. Okay, we're going to start self destructing in a second because, you know, AI dead, but at least there's a bit of more damage done there. Oh, we took it down to 64. Okay, yeah, over 150,000 materials were lost there. It was something. Yes. Well, there we are. Battle finished. Yes. On my way. Receiving. Moving. Moving. 
Why are you still going after my blueprints? I mean, it's fine. I'll just lure you back there. Okay, so... We've got a lot of resources, though, so we can almost instantly replace what we've just lost. And I think we should, and then go straight after the enemy. You want to know something odd? I don't think I've been prouder of my tanks. Ever. I think that is the proudest I've been, because up against a superior enemy, we lost. But we took it down to almost half health, we killed several of its guards, and we fought and fought and fought until the very, very last second, and it was fun to watch. Yeah, I would say that may have been the best battle so far of this series, at least in my opinion. Okay, so what are we going to rebuild then? Uh, I think we're going to get a few copters. I think I want some of those to help out. A uh, couple of hash tanks. I think three hash tanks. And then with the rest, build some copters and then reinforce the turret position. If the enemy doesn't attack us in this time send them to destroy the enemy because also remember that turret position has been harvesting resources this entire time so it will have enough to actually start building stuff itself i do also have one of the vehicles we stole recently which is worth twenty-eight thousand materials still so i'm moving that over to here and i'm going to scrap that near our turret and then that way we can build another tank over here as well so we can go back up to four tanks and then some copter support straight away, take this tile, then we are completely safe against the Lightning Hoods for a while, and in that time, we can move all of our forces over here. So I think it'll be next episode then we finally focus on the Dustwind Gypsies, and don't worry, that's all we're going to do. I still love just watching tanks move in this game. I don't know why, I just do. Rather than just sending them on over on the map. It takes far longer, but I think it's just such a cooler experience. Far more immersive. Now scrapping the captured vehicle. I think it's only fair that we make a couple of the dismantlers because of that. I mean, we just scrapped a laser hovercraft... It makes complete sense that we turn it into laser hovercrafts. We are scrappers, it's what we do. Ooh, I can actually afford quite a few of them. I don't want this playthrough, though, to be dominated by hovercraft. I've done that before, especially the last time round, so... I don't want to make many more hovercraft, and if I do make more... Similar level to the Dismantler, so nothing particularly special. So how about two of those, and then... Let's bring in a scorpion as well. We, we already have three of the pharaoh or the pharaoh. We don't need... Yeah, we don't even need one more of those. The pharaoh can stay where you are. Wait, did I just say all three versions of pharaoh? I said pharaoh, pharaoh, and... <laughs> yeah, I said all three. Yep, that's where my mind is right now. Here we go again, this time with some missile support in the form of two copters. Not exactly a scary amount of missile support, but at least it is there. And with the enemy main vehicle heavily crippled, this should be our victory. And so it begins. Everything in combat mode, lovely. And there is the crippled enemy, although it is being healed. Or is it healing its friends? That would make more sense, considering this can create other creations. It makes complete sense it can also heal up everything else. So please kill it. Lovely. There we go. Several Hesh shells instantly going inside. And goodbye to you. Okay, now with the big enemy down, it should be a lot easier. Much, much easier fight. Ah, oh, that poor fellow getting in the way of the Hesh shell, and, well, it sort of got lobotomized. Okay, need to order a different attack now, because this guy isn't even putting up a fight. So, who is fighting back? You are. Bit of friendly fire there on the opponent's side, which is lovely for us. Bit of minigun damage incoming, which is nice as well. And we are now enshrouded in mist. So expect us not to be able to really see what's going on. One good Hesh shell shot there 
taking out a lot and incoming missiles from our copter. Well done. Although the copter did just take some EMP to the side, it doesn't seem to have... Oh, no, it has definitely done something to it. Copter, you okay, buddy? No, I think it may have took out its AI. Well, one of the copters is down. Yeah, see how you like our lasers. And Hesh. There's always going to be a bit of Hesh as well. Yeah, really hard to see what's going on here, gotta be honest. Oh, Hesh shell to both sides. Enemy missiles incoming, and okay, that wasn't too bad. There we are, another three Hesh, and I can't believe that's still going. I say as it goes down. Yeah, we need something to deal with shields. I really do think that perhaps the Pharaoh tanks could just have... Yeah, the Pharaoh could just have a single disruption conduit every five, six shots. Just to, just to deal with that. Because otherwise it's ridiculous. It will lower its overall output of damage since one in five shots will become an anti-shield specific shell. But after seeing this last battle, I think it needs to have... Ow! Missiles in the butt. Yeah, almost completely crippled. Is anything even fighting back? Yep, there are still missiles. What is going on over there? Oh, come on. That's just being mean to the downed copter. Copters didn't last too long. You see, this is why they're meant to be used in a swarm. Oh, one good Hesh shell there. And the inside just imploded. Oh, that's beautiful. Bye. Oh, that looked painful. That's a shame, isn't it? I think it's safe to say we got our revenge. Enemy using smoke. That's why the laser seems so small there. Well, you're damaged. Okay, so one copter still going but damaged. One of the lasers was still damaged again. Yeah, the enemy were dangerous this time. Still, though, an overwhelming victory here. Also, our, disma our dismantlers... Oh, look, it's actually back online. Are incredibly frail. I said that originally when I made them. They can't take any damage. The reason why they're so cheap, but they seem to do more damage than the enemy lasers who cost a fortune, is because all of their money is in their engine and their laser. Nothing else matters. Absolutely nothing else. A lovely ending image. I enjoyed that. A bit of revenge is always enjoyable. That's why closer battles are more fun. Anyway, I do hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that From the Depths is a series you wish to see continued in the future. In the next episode, we're going to just destroy the Dustwind Gypsies. It should be a bloodbath. It should be a lot of fun. I may use some of the Mosquitoes, our lovely sled craft, and some more of our Copters. And I may declare war with the Onyx Watch, just to see what they would do. Goodbye.